Okay, this is 72021. Write an application that uses an enhanced for statement to sum the double values passed by the command line arguments. Hint, use the static method parse double of class double to convert a string to a double value. So there's three things we need to know about here. First is double parse double. If you have a string, let's run it. I'll show you on the command line. If you have a string value, call it x, and it equals something that could be converted to a double. You can't do things with it as a string, like multiply it by 2, unless you convert it. To convert a string to a double, capital D double dot parse double, and then you put the string. That converts it to a double, so you can play with it like you can multiply it by 2. So that's double parse double. The enhanced for loop is when you have an array, for instance, a string array y, and it's going to be hi, how are you? then you can, instead of doing for int i equals 0, i or y dot length y plus i plus plus, instead of doing that incremental i less than, i less than length, instead of doing that, when you have an array, you can do uh, enhanced for loop. You have to define it as the whatever the array is the type, but without the array part string uh, statement. Well, you can call it whatever you want. And then the colon, and then whatever array it is that you want to, to use. So to show you it works, we'll do a print, and then the value that it becomes is statement. Each one that it iterates through is statement. Oh, it might be easier if we do print line. But you can see each one, it goes through each one. Hi, how are you? So that's a enhanced for loop. And the last thing we need to, it helps to understand for this question, is what, what this main string args means. So I have this line here to hopefully help demonstrate. When you run, when a user runs this program video, or runs this compiled Java class, they have the option but not requirement to pass additional arguments to it. These arguments are going to be an array of strings, and they're going to be called args. So inside here, uh, you have access to, to this. args.length will be a thing, arg0, so long as they pass any argument will be a thing. So let me demonstrate this on the command line, which hopefully you know something about, but if not, it's cmd.exe. You should be able to find it by just typing it in. The requirement is that you be in the directory that, that the Java file is, is compiled in. If you don't know much about the command line, you should learn because it's fun. So to run a Java file, you type Java and then additional stuff. For instance, this is class video, so this is a Java file, so class Java video will run that Java. We're going to recompile it, because it wasn't compiled with this as a statement. Now this is a statement, so it's going to print the first additional argument that we pass it. So if I were to run this without any additional arguments, it's going to show an error, and that's because it's attempting to print out the first argument, which will fail. However, if I pass it an argument, hello, it's going to print that argument. So that's what an argument is at its core. It's just a string that you pass, hello world. 
it will just read the first one because I told it to. I could. I think this works. No, I could print on. And then it would print the, the second the second argument. So this is args zero. This is args one. Args dot length would be two because this whole thing is a string array. However long it goes is some arbitrary value args. So that shows world. So that's the point of the command line main string args. But let's do this. Isn't a hard problem but it's important to understand the concepts behind it. So let's sum the double values. So these are all going to be double values passed. So it's going to be like Java video 2.3, 554.56, 2 2.0. Now when these are passed, these are strings, and this is an array of strings. So what we need to do is iterate through each of them, and then when we iterate, we need to convert each one and then add it to something that we call a sum. So inside we have a, a double sum, which we start at 0, 0, 0.0, and then we're going to have an enhanced for loop, 4, and again this has to be a string because each of these is a string array. So at first we're going to divide it into a string, I'll call it each, but you can call it whatever you want string each, colon, and then in args. So inside this for loop, each time we go through it, it's going to be whatever the value of the first argument is. So it's not going to be, we don't have to deal with args zero or args each. That's not right. That's that's in the, the, other, the other for loop. This is just going to be each. So we want to parse it with double dot parse double because it's currently a string but we want to it we want it to become a double and we also want to add that number to sum and that's it I think that we want to print outside the loop print sum. I think we want to do that too. This should be it. But let's demonstrate on the command line. Two point three, three point three, four point four, one hundred point one. There you go. That's it.